stopped with the self-improvement and the discipline and all this wreck pill BS because it's gonna ruin your life, all right? I've been there, I've done that route. What's gonna happen? You'll end up in a lonely cage that only you is living in, thinking that you're bettering your life for a better future. But guess what? It will never happen because all you're doing is missing out on life. You're disciplined for something that maybe in reality you don't even want. Why are we living someone else's life? Disappear for five years and build the best life and then the woman will come. That's all BS, guys. Those are all ways to cope with things that are not going well your way. And what happens is that we isolate ourselves even more with all the discipline. Oh, I gotta wake up at five. I gotta do this. Maybe temporarily, if you're in your early 20s and all you were doing was partying, yeah, of course, get back on that on track and find yourself a nice routine and stick to it. But most of us out there, we're just getting more and more lonely. Trust me, I talk to guys. I, I mean, shout out to my brother, Phil. You know, we have those deep conversations and we're like, we got to share it with the world. We've been in this game for over 10 years. Bodybuilding, training, discipline, got to get my meals in, got to do this, got to do that. Got to wake up early. I can't go out. Oh, I got to make... It's like if for professional Olympic athletes, even the top of the Olympics, they're not as disciplined as us, seriously. But is it a good thing? What do you get out of it? At the end of the day, you just miss out on life. You approach 30, you approach 40, and you're like, whoa, what have I been doing? Just because you listen to a few red pill videos telling you, you know what? Just disappear for 10 years and build that money and then you'll party once you're on that boat. Forget the partying now, forget this now. Trust me guys, first of all, tomorrow is never guaranteed, never promised, and that's not just the way to live life. You can't just, it's like if you're in a race and you're running with everybody, and then you try to take that shortcut just to disappear, you take that shortcut and you kind of cheat your way to become first. It's just not gonna happen because that's not the way life works, all right? If you're not enjoying your life now, you're being disciplined, uh, for nothing because there's no ambition behind it. Get back to yourself, get back to the roots, get back to asking yourself, what do you really want out of this life? Seriously, it all comes down to those questions. What do you want out of this life? People tell me, oh, you're so disciplined with this gym. I'm not disciplined, I love working out. That's why for me, it makes sense to work out. If you ask LeBron James, oh, you were so disciplined playing basketball. It's like, what are you talking about? Basketball was my fun time. I made it to the top, but then you've got a guy that is being so disciplined, waking up at 4 a.m. and playing 10 hours of basketball. Doesn't, it's not necessarily the best thing that he want to do, but his goal is becoming the, be the next LeBron James. He's living a goal that is not his. He's living a life that is not his. He's missing out. He's missing out because maybe what he's got in store, what God put in him is a lot bigger than uh, what he's chasing. All right. So when you feel like you're disciplined and you're trying to self-improve, all that self-improvement, you know, sometimes it just leads you in a path where uh, you become very lonely and miserable and you're just coping and you, you start listening even more to those kind of red pill videos that tells you it's all right, just do it for another year and two more years and three more years. Guys, trust me, I've been doing it for a while. All my 20s, that's all I was doing. Look at me now. Am I, am, am I doing any better off than someone that was... Enjoying life more? Trust me, no. Trust me, no. Yesterday, me and Phil were like, hey, you know what? Let's just get out of it, of, of, of our comfort zone. Because that's where life happens. It's the, the unexpected. We're trying to get those routines and we try, to, we try to predict everything that happens and you make yourself in a routine that you want to know everything that happens from the first thing to the last thing. Brother, that's not life. You're not even living. You're just, you're basically a robot. And following a path that you created that's pretty much it man that's pretty much it so me and phil were like you know what let's just go out take a walk we went to this little there was like a jamaican party we just went there just to see the vibes and we were like whoa we fit like we don't fit at all we were like the only ones just standing and we see all those other dudes dancing and people are like having a fun time and me and him were like yo Let's get out of here. But you know what? I'm sure that deep down of us were like, yo, we wish we would have, like, we could have a bit more fun. It's like if we're a bit too tight and we're, we're trying to loosen it up and we're trying to go out and meet new people and all. But 
The more you've waited in this, in this kind of disciplined self-improvement isolation life, I'm, I don't want to say the harder it is to get back to the real world in life, but uh, just don't do it for too long. It's all right, temporarily. Now I had a breakup, my... Anyways, I went through a big breakup, I was engaged, this and that, and I needed that little time. But guess what, that little time of you being isolated, working on yourself can easily become one year, two years, three years, four years. And then you're like, what, I've been isolated for 10 years just because my ex broke up with me 10 years ago? Screw that, man. Bro, shake it off. You're a man and just remember that. That's where life happens, is in the unexpected. So stop trying to self-improve and control everything and just get better every day and all your life is about you self-improvement self-improving because then you're just too much worried about the future and you're not in the present you're not in the present moment you're not in the present moment you're not you're just thinking about later later all right i have money i just save it for later okay i have this later i just gotta do more and there is a little bit of good to it if you were on that other extreme but don't go to the extreme of the red pill bs or black pill or whatever it is man we, we, we gotta stop with all those with all those stuff. We gotta stop with all those stuff. Just be you. Remember who you are and ask yourself those deep questions. Keep that energy within you and ask yourself who what do I want out of this life? Who I am? Because life is passing by and we're in this kind of anxious rat race thinking that we just gotta keep getting ahead. But what do you do? Why are you doing it for? If there's no ambition, you're just getting ahead for nothing. You might end up with some money, but void inside. And then you'll, lose all, uh, you'll use all that money to fill up a void that uh, you created by not listening to yourself. You know what I mean? So you can't cheat life, guys. All that self-improvement and stuff. Before doing it, just ask yourself what you want. I've never thought of the gym of being disciplined and self-improvement. I went to the gym because I just was kind of coping with life. You know what I mean? But... I started loving it and I'm like, yeah, I'm loving it. It's just amazing. But a lot of people don't love it. So if you don't love it, find what gives you that ambition, something that really deep down you want to do and pursue it, you know, maybe go out more. That's what I'm going to do. Go out more, uh, sign up to group classes, meet people. You got to be social. So let's stop being all this kind of big barrier man that is so tight and it's like, that's not it, man. That's not it. Gotta, gotta let loose a bit. You know, I'm not saying start dancing every single time you cross the street and jumping around and being a clown, but life is so much more than just you trying to no fab for three months, you know? Like, we get to those hard uh, challenges that we give ourselves. All right, I'm not fapping for five months. I'm waking up at 7 a.m. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make more money. I don't think that's the that's the path to success. I really don't think so because I think it's just gonna end you. It's gonna get you somewhere where uh, you don't really want to be, and you're trying to live someone else's life. We're talking about Jeff Nippert. He's got five million subscribers on YouTube, or uh, those people that have, let's say, Greg Doucet or Sam Sulek or the guys with millions of followers. Everybody want now want to become them. Everybody want to become the next Sam Sulek. Everybody's living a dream of someone else. You're living someone else's life. But yet, Sam Sulek, when he started, he was just filming videos for fun. Just for fun. Just for, it was a pastime. It wasn't, for him, it was kind of maybe uh, getting out of his comfort zone and doing it just to chill a bit, to relax, and just to share some stuff. But yet, other people that want to become like him, for them, it's like a discipline thing. And it's like they're treating it like the biggest self-improvement thing of, hey, i got to film three hours. Now i got to do this. Now i got to do that. They're all kind of living someone else's dream. And stop all that and get back to what to you. Because maybe what you have in store is going to be a lot more powerful and will impact a lot more people than someone else's dream. You know what I mean? So that's it, man. Don't fall in this rat race. And don't fall into this uh, way of living because you're just putting yourself in a cage and only you have the uh, ability to get out of it. All right. See you guys soon. That video was, pff, was just a quick one, you know, in the morning just so I can share with you guys because it's things that I'm also going through. 
<clears throat> that's why I make those videos. It's really to 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 share my thoughts and to remind myself about certain things. Let me guys know what you think. I'm I'm curious to know. I'm, I'm really curious to know. Where are you guys at now? Are you are you falling in this all all this self improvement stuff? What are you doing? What is what is your life looking like? Let me know in the comments. I'll see you soon. Ciao.